The COVID-19 pandemic brought drastic changes in the way we communicate and interact with people. Physical interaction to virtual interaction, there are lots of barriers and restrictions that stops us from interacting with the people close to us physically. However, through the use of social networking sites and the internet, we were able to still reach to those people who lived far away from us. Through the internet, we were able to communicate and connect with people around the globe in a safer way. As an introvert, the existence of COVID-19 pandemic became a blessing in disguise. I was able to meet and talk with new people from different countries and establish friendship and connection. I met a girl who lived in Camilla, Bangladesh through Facebook. We were members of a Facebook group and interacted a lot on posts. She added me on Facebook and that was how I was able to experience intercultural communication firsthand. There were a lot of differences and one perfect example is language. While we both have different native languages, we agreed upon using the English language as the language that we will use in communicating in order for us to understand each other. Cultural differences impacted our communication and our relationship given the fact that she is a Muslim and I am a Catholic. She is a Baladishi while I am a Filipino. At first, we avoided topics that is connected to our religion as it creates a lot of misunderstandings and resorted to beliefs and practices that we have in common. I am shocked to know that we have a lot in common. Bangladesh and Philippines have a lot in common in terms of beliefs and practices such as Pagmamano, which is a sign of respect that the young generation have for the elders. And this very unique belief that sneezing all of a sudden is a sign that someone is talking behind your back. In a small span of time, I didn't notice that I was having a lot of fun conversing with her and at the same time learning from her culture, tradition, and beliefs. Although the early stages of the pandemic were quite challenging, I wouldn't deny the fact that I enjoyed staying at home and connecting with individuals around the globe just by tapping my phone screen. <laughs>